use of artificial intelligence to diagnose COVID-19 spread even as both are looking at cooperation for the development of a vaccine. Speaking to our diplomatic correspondent Sidhan Sibal from Tel Aviv, India's envoy to Israel, Sanjeev Singla, said India has supplied Israel with hydroxychloroquine and other medical supplies and the mission has been reaching out to stranded students. Take a look. What is the role of the Indian mission in Israel when it comes to taking care of the Indian citizens? How many Indians have been impacted by COVID in the country? The embassy has been in close touch with the 15,000 odd Indian community in Israel, uh, comprising caregivers, high-tech workers, students and others. And in the early days of the coronavirus outbreak in Israel, uh, we designated an emergency point of contact for any corona-related query from the Indian community. We have also proactively uh, reached out to our students for quick sharing of information and responding to their queries. And we continue to upgrade, uh, update relevant information such as the Israeli and Indian government advisories on a regular basis on our website and our social media handles. But as the number of cases in Israel increased, uh, we took the initiative to distribute protective masks, gloves and hand sanitizers to Indian students and caregivers spread all over Israel. Uh, thankfully, only four Indians have had uh, confirmed cases of COVID-19 so far, of whom one has completely recovered and been discharged. And we are in regular touch with the patients as well as with the relevant Israeli authorities regarding their well-being and care. How are India and Israel collaborating in the fight against COVID pandemic? Anything on combined efforts to develop a vaccine? Uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu have spoken twice on the telephone uh, within a span of one month during this crisis. In their last conversation on 3rd of April, they discussed how the two countries can deepen their technological cooperation. India has supplied Israel with uh, hydroxychloroquine and other medical supplies. But one big area for collaboration uh, relates to the use of AI in diagnosing the spread of such pandemics, uh, new therapies, as also in new methodologies in the development of vaccines, a process that is generally long, expensive and uncertain. And technical experts from both sides are engaging to explore possibilities for joint cooperation in this regard. What do you think about the Israeli model of COVID containment? And have you shared any Indian model of COVID containment with the Israelis? Well, the essential model in both countries has been the same. A strict nationwide lockdown with provision for delivery of essential supplies. What is different is obviously the scale with Israel being less than the size of, let's say, Bengaluru in terms of population. Another aspect is how Israel almost has a habit of rallying as a society and nation in, terms of a, in times of a crisis, since it has been under siege, so to say, ever since its independence. And that reflects in its quick response. It was one of the first countries to impose restrictions on travelers from coronavirus hotspots around the world and even though it has had a substantial caseload of over 15,000 cases, it has been able to keep the mortality rate remarkably low. Uh, once the pandemic has subsided, it would perhaps be interesting for both countries to share their experiences and practices with regard to, uh, for instance, tackling the pandemic in high density hotspots. Another useful experience sharing could relate to policies regarding easing of lockdowns while maintaining the required medical norms and the utility of uh, nudge policies of behavioral economics and public trust that we in India have been emphasizing towards behavioral safeguards, uh, which will be crucial once the economy is reopened, such as those relating to the need for social distancing and hygiene. We, of course, have been sharing through social media and with our interlocutors India's response to the pandemic 